they broke this window. They actually climbed in through the broken window. So Mitchell Levine has lost three cars to thieves in the last few years. One stolen right from his Toronto driveway and two other unsuccessful attempts on this Highlander prompting him to install multiple cameras. Are we going to become a society like the U.S. where we have to live in gated communities to have any sense of security? Car theft is skyrocketing in Canada with 90,000 cars stolen a year, one roughly every six minutes. Many shipped overseas. Under pressure to act, Ottawa held an auto theft summit earlier this year, but Count Levine unimpressed with the new federal plan to curb the problem. It's like taking a squirt gun to a huge water fight. I'm pleased to unveil our new national action plan on combating auto theft. The plan has three prongs, toughening the criminal code for car theft offences and better information sharing between different police forces and customs officers and more intervention at the border, like investing in technology that can scan cargo. This will allow more containers to be examined. The feds say they'll also review vehicle regulations to push manufacturers to embrace more anti-theft innovations. I'd like to see a vehicle harder to steal right from the, right from the beginning. Brian Gass, an investigator who has linked Canada's stolen car problem to organized crime, says this plan is the right step forward. This will send a strong message to the organized crime groups that are profiting from these uh, vehicle crimes. Rolled out on a holiday Monday, it's still a little squishy on the details, and that bothers Mitchell Levine. There's not enough tangible things. So for now, he'll strategically park his Highlander, coveted by car thieves, behind a car that isn't, and hope for the best. So, Katie, part of the plan you mentioned includes better scanning of ports, but we're talking about thousands of containers, multiple ports. This is a huge challenge. Yeah, and a lot of money. Right now, they're consulting with other Five Eyes countries to pinpoint what technology would work best. So they're looking for those scanners. They also want CBSA agents to be able to crack open those cargo containers and take a peek inside. So they're talking about technology. You need people who can run the technology. You need people who can open the containers. Uh, they say that they're going to hire more staff, but last year the union representing CBSA told us they were looking at something like 3,000 vacancies nationwide. So not impossible, but definitely, as you say, a challenge. Huge task. All right, Kitty Nicholson, thank you.